in this video we will significantly improve the speed of our dashboard as you can see when we connect it's a lot faster than it was before when we connect to commands it's very fast as well we'll add a session manager that will handle sessions and automatically delete them after five minutes this is mainly responsible for the performance boost and we'll stop the bug when we refresh very quickly that it doesn't load the girls properly so let's get into it when we press F5 twice or refresh quickly what happens is the gills don't load due to rate limiting now last video I believe what did we do to fix this wow temporary fix this ain't good enough so now if we get rid of that now we refresh what happens let's guess what happens it's gonna give us an error we saw last time when we refresh twice Oop. very quickly so basically what is going on is the OAuth client is getting this is getting the user here okay and also at the same time it is getting the guilds so it's getting the guilds here sorry and it's getting the user here and we're doing it four times in a very short amount of time how do we stop that how can we limit it well there are two ways and they have their advantages and disadvantages well first of all I've tried this before so what we can do to stop this what we're gonna do is we're gonna store the guilds temporarily so that the loading is incredibly fast if we look as you can see the loading is very slow in right now it's pretty slow anyway we're gonna improve that wow we can store it in cookies like we're storing the keys here let's look at that look at our keys or our cookies so we can store this as a stringified object we can store all the guilds let's say they have hundreds of guilds 150 is the maximum I believe that's gonna be a big cookie but we can store it on the client side or we can store it in the memory of the server which is which usually seems to be low for express apps so <clears throat> I believe on a live stream we came up with the idea of or we did store it on the prototype on the server side so that's what we're gonna do okay so let's check we refresh twice it's having this guilds problem let's let's fix that okay so we're gonna create a file but I don't like these files are stacking up so I think I'm gonna make a new folder called modules just to sort this out a bit modules and then it's kind of a module and we, of course we need to update this for some reason it, it does not auto update so that's what we're going to do we're going to update that we don't need to change this import so we do the same in off client here we go back to and then we get to the config.json level so we're going to make a file in modules called sessions.js now how do we store the sessions well wow. What are we storing, first of all? What are we going to store? Well, every time we load a page, let's review middleware, every time this is called and this is called, and we do not reproduce this bug when we're on the index page because it's only getting the user. So only this is called. But every time we load the dashboard, both of these are called. Now, we're going to store the guilds here 
and the user for five minutes. So once they load the page, it's going to be stored for five minutes and then it auto deletes. So concessions equals new map. Okay, we've made a new map here. Now we're going to store it in a map. What? How do we know what we're storing? What? What are we storing it with? What are we storing? Well, the user in the guilds will be the value. What will be the key? What will we identify it with? The key. <laughs> because that's how we identify it. Now, let's do that. So, sessions.set. So, we're going to make a function here called, I believe we're going to call it get function get. And then that's going to take in a key. Let's see. Get key. So, what get key is going to do? It's going to return sessions.get. Now we getting a key. It's like a member or getting a guild. It's the same syntax. Or we're going to create a session locally with the key. I don't know what this is. We don't need that. Okay. So what what are we doing here? Function create. This will be asynchronous. We're going to pass in the key. So, what do we do? We type. We're going to have a. We're just going to return sessions.get key. But obviously, it's not created yet. How do we create it? Well, first, I'm going to make a function called update key. Now, this is going to set the key. That's it. It's not going to return anything. Or well, it might return something. Believe. So, because we have a wait, we're gonna add async to the function now. Async function update key. Oh, look at that! Return sessions. Now we're just gonna set the key here. So, how do we set a value in a map? So we type key, which is what we identify it with the ID very similar to a collection in Discord. Actually, a Discord.js, sorry, it's only Discord.js, one of them collections, a Discord.js collection, is a extension of a map. Now, a map in JS, it's like a dictionary if you've used any other language. It's used for JavaScript objects. It uses hash tables to very quickly store data and retrieve data. It's the standard for storing objects in JavaScript. Very fundamental. Now we're going to set the off user and we're going to set the guild. But the guilds, we need to get manageable guilds. Now in middleware, we don't need this in here. We're only using it in here, so it's technically private. We're not exporting it. We're going to get the manageable guilds, but we're also going to await off client. We need that. So const off client equals require off client. So now we're going to type await off client dot get guilds key. And then similarly await off client get user and then key that should do it so what now well that part is done let's see what that does we we haven't finished this but we want to export get so we can use it in middleware so let's do that and we want to export update because we'll get onto that in a minute. What now? What are we doing? So when we get the user, we don't even need to type that. So this is like data. If we look at data, and uh, not that one, it's data guilds. It's like a get and create. This is the get method really. It's very similar. So we type rest.locals.user get 
Okay, so we can just type get key, await get key, const, we can destructure it. So that gets the off user, but we want to type off user because it doesn't know what user is, you see. Off user is the user with O off too, it's just what we're calling it. So get, we're going to type sessions.get. So what now? We don't need bot, we can just replace that with sessions. Okay, now we have sessions. So, yep. So that is imported there. And similarly, we're going to copy this. Or we can just copy this part here. And we're going to do this for guilds. Now, it's returning discord.js guilds instead of off guilds. Just keep that in mind. So we get, we're getting and setting guilds here. Remember to type guilds. Like that. Now, we're off to a good start. Let's refresh. There is something we need to add to sessions. One more thing, I believe. But we'll get onto that in a minute. So, cannot find middleware. What are we doing here? So, in server.js, obviously, we move some things to modules. We need to update that. F5. Oh, off routes. Okay, we need to. For some reason, it did not want to update. So let's see if that works now. It's not, probably not. Oh, look at that. So now, okay. Let's see what's going on. So we press F5. Oh, we're denied. What is going on? Bot is not defined. So I think we need to add bot in sessions. So we type, we go back two folders and we type bot. Then we restart. There we go. It's connected. F5. Now it loads our user. We go to dashboard. We press F5. Look how quick that is. Look how fast that loading is. It's nearly like a front end framework. But now, very quick. Look at that. No bug when we can refresh like many times. And it won't, it won't deny us. That's cool. But what is the problem? Well, if I had a guild here, what's going to happen? These guilds are not going to update. So we're not going to be able to edit it until we log in, until we re-log in. Now, so this is fine. But the state stays the same, same for the user. Nothing changes until we re-log in and regenerate the key so that the key is no longer valid for these items here, the guilds and the user. So, because when we re-log in, the key is regenerated. So, what should we do about that? Well, we're going to auto-delete it. So to allow, so let's say we change our username on Discord, which I'm not going to do, but let's say we change the username, it's not going to update until the application restarts, because they're stored in here until the application restarts for the entire application lifetime, basically. So how do we get around that? So we set timeout in here, and that delays a function execution and then we type we're going to delete a session and remember when we delete one and a user connects again it's automatically created so we don't need to worry about the user not being able to connect that's fine so we're going to have five minutes we enter millisecond value five minutes you can have it 30 minutes you can have it whatever you want so there we go. And now, that's going to delete after five minutes. It's going to refresh our state. But when we add a guild, what happens? 
of course the guilds do not update so we go into now we go into off routes i believe and we're gonna make a this is gonna this is going to change things okay so we're gonna have an off guild here now this is gonna be very similar to off however it's not gonna set any keys it's just gonna update the state of something particularly maybe you can guess what's going on here what are we updating when we when a guild is added well we're updating the guild so we type res.redirect slash hold on something is missing so when we update guild that might be that might for an error so we're just gonna have a finally so regardless redirect slash dashboard so that could fail for whatever reason because disco OAuth is unpredictable sometimes <laughs> but we're gonna import here sessions so that's import sessions sessions there we go so now we can type sessions dot update key okay that's it and then finally redirect back that's it so when we go to off guild let's try and directly connect there my dog likes guilds apparently so if we go to localhost slash off guild um, off guild that's not it off guild Oh, redirects us back no matter what. So that did throw an error. It says key was is not defined. I messed up again. So re, res.cookies.get key. So we're not catching anything. It's going to throw an error. Okay, so I mistyped that here. A bot, when a user manually adds a guild, we redirect to off guild instead of dashboard and what that also means is when we get to, we need to update the redirect URIs of course so we go into 1pg demo whatever bot you're using it off to and I've already added off guild it was dashboard but it needs to be off guild so save and now when we go to invite remember to refresh and then we go to invite here and something happens huh okay it's not that exciting but we're gonna add something here we're gonna add our bot to a guild now we're just gonna have a uh, kit in college why not so it's using four servers we connect it up oh, redirects us back and it refreshes that is cool in the next video We'll start to work on making the tabs work, I guess. And we'll be getting onto forms and actually allowing users to edit their guilds. So, see you there.